So we are going to continue by solving a basic question. Man, I read, the area of a rectangular farmland is 7,200 meters square, while its perimeter is 360 meters. Calculate the A, dimensions of the farmland. B, cost of clearing the farmland at 8.50 Naira per square meter, leaving a margin of 2 meters wide along the longer sides. And then C, percentage of the farmland not cleared. So now, looking at the question like this, we are told that the area of a rectangular farmland is 7,200 meters square. So we have a rectangular farmland. Of area, 7,200 meters squared, okay? And we are told that whilst this perimeter is 360 meters, the perimeter of a rectangular farmland, a perimeter of farmland is 360 meters, okay? Now, because this is rectangular, okay, we are saying that the area of any rectangle, okay, is length times width or the length times breadth. So we can say that the length times the width is equal to 7,200 meters, okay, meters squared. Now, over here, this will be our equation one, okay? So the length times width is equal to 7,200. Then we shall have, we have the area of the rectangle to be equal to length times width is 7,200. And then the perimeter is 2L plus 2W is equal to 360. So we have this as our equation two, okay? So the length of a rectangle, uh, the perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W. Because you have length, length, width, width, okay? Now, we are going to solve this simultaneously. And looking at this, we can't use the elimination method to solve it. Because when we use the elimination method, we don't know this is not separated by addition for us to eliminate one of the variables. So because they are multiplying, the best method to use here is what? The substitution method. So we are going to uh, make either W or L the subject of equation one. So let's make, making L the subject of equation one. We shall have L is equal to 7,200 over W. We name this equation three. Now, going forward, we are going to replace our value for L, our L with um, the equation two here, okay? Wherever we see L, we put 7,200 over W. So over here, we shall have two into, now we place our L, so we are going to put L, put L equals to 7,200 over W into equation two, okay? We put this into equation two. So we shall have two into 7,200 over W plus two W equals to 360. So now we are going to solve for W, okay? So two times 7,200 will give us 14,400 over W plus two W equals to 360. So from here, we do realize that our LCM is W. So we are going to multiply through the three terms of this equation. This is the first term, second term, and the third term. We are going to multiply through all the three terms by W. So when I multiply here by W, W will cancel. I'm left with 14,400 plus W times 2W will give me 2W squared equals to W times 360 is 360W. Now, anytime you are solving any mathematical equation and you realize that you have a square and you have a middle term of uh, a variable here and then a constant, 
you should know that this is what? A quadratic equation. So we are going to write it in the form of what? A quadratic equation. So this will give us 2w squared minus 360w plus 14,400 is equal to 0. So we equate it to 0. Now, if we work through, I think 2 can divide through the whole equation. So we are going to divide through by 2. So we divide through by 2. So when we divide through by 2, we get w squared minus 180w plus, we shall have 7,200 equal to what? Zero. So now, since we have this as our quadratic equation, we are going to solve this using the quadratic um, formula or we can even use our normal way of factorizing. 1 times 7,200 is 7,200. Two numbers, when you multiply, you get 7,200. But when you add, you get minus 180. So we think we can have minus 60 and minus 120. So you can check that out, whether minus 60 times minus 120 will give you 7,200. And then minus 60 plus minus 120 will give you 180. So minus 60 times minus 120 mm -hmm. is 7,200. Mm -hmm. So we shall have W minus 60 and then W minus 120 to be equal to zero. Okay, when you factorize this, what you get? Then we say either W minus 60 is equal to zero, W is equal to 60, or W minus 120 is equal to zero, W is equal to 120. So over here, we are getting two values of W, okay? So we need to get the values of what? L. And our L is 7,200 over W. That is in equation three, because we made L the subject here. So we are going to put W equal to 60 into equation, um, equation three, okay? So putting W equal to 60 into equation three, we shall help. Putting W equals to 60 into equation 3, we shall have L is equal to 7,200 over W, which is what? 60. So L will be equal to um, 120. Mm -hmm. So L will be equal to 120. Then we are also going to put W equals to 120 into equation 3. So L will be equal to 7,200 over 120, which we shall have L to be equal to 60. Now, in this case, when W is equal to 60, L is equal to 120. And when W is equal to 120, when W is 120, L is also equal to what? 60. So now, we were asked to find the dimensions of the rectangular uh, farmland. So since the length is always the longer side, we are going to say that therefore, the length is equal to 120 meters and the width is equal to 60 meters. So this becomes our final answer for the dimensions of the farmland, okay, the rectangular farmland. Now, we are going to answer the next question, which is, calculate the cost of clearing the farmland at 8.50 Naira per square meter, leaving a margin of two meters wide along the longer side. So, assuming this is our farmland, okay, Assuming this is our farmland, and we have our length to be equal to 120 meters, and then our width, okay, to be equal to 60 meters. Now, they are telling us we should leave two meters, okay, we should leave two meters wide, we should leave two meters along the longer sides, so this will be two meters, and this will also be two meters. So we are leaving this out. We are not going to clear this two meters. Now, the portion for us to clear is this portion. So if this is 60, okay, 
and we are taking two meters out and two meters out it means we are taking a total of what four meters out so 60 minus 4 will give us 56 meters okay so the area now for us to clear okay the area to be cleared area to be cleared now becomes our 120 meters times 56 meters so this is the area left for us to clear okay now 120 times 56 will give us so we have 6720 meters squared now this is the area left for us to clear okay and we are told that for each square meter okay the charge is 8.50 naira so for us to know the cost the cost of clearing will be equal to 8.50 naira times 6720 because it was given in meter squared it's a per square meter so we are going to use the answer for this to multiply this to get the cost so our cost becomes so we have 8.50 times 6720 which will give us 57120 five, so we have 8.50 times 6720 will give us 57120 naira 8.50 naira times 6720 will be equal to 57120 naira point zero zero okay so point zero zero so we have five seven one two zero point zero zero naira now the last question says we should find the percentage of the farmland not cleared the percentage of the farmland not cleared so i'm going to clean the board and then i'm going to solve that on this side of the board so we know that the total area of the farmland is 7200 meters so we are asked to find the percentage of farmland not cleared okay so which is this portion we want to find a percentage of this portion now our total now so now the area that has been cleared okay the whole area of the uh, rectangular farmland is 7200 and the area that was cleared was 67 60 <laughs> the whole area of the farmland is 7200 that's the whole area okay and the area that was cleared was 6720 meters squared so if i want to find the remainder of the area that was left i'm just going to subtract so remainder of area remainder of area not cleared will be equal to the total area of farmland of farmland minus the area of cleared portion okay of cleared portion so this will be equal to the total area of the farmland is 7200 meters squared then minus the one that was cleared area to be cleared which was cleared was 6720 meters squared and this is going to give us 480 meters squared now we want to find the percentage of this that is left so if the full area okay the full area is 7200 okay meter square is equal to 100 percent okay then the one that is left which is 480 meters squared now you ask yourself will it be more or less if 7200 is 100 percent then 480 meters square will it be more or less so definitely it will be less so if less more divide so we shall have uh, 480 meters squared over 7200 meters squared times 100 percent okay so meter square we cancel meter square so we shall have our answer to be equal to so zero cancel zero zero cancel zero so we have 480 over 72 
which will give us 6.66 percent so this is the percentage of area that was not cleared okay and that was left behind so with this i hope you can solve more questions under perimeter and area until we meet again next time bye